hard. That's all I got. It's hard. Oh, antier. That was like the day before last, right? The day before yesterday. Ante de ayer. Before yesterday. That's two days ago, but it's not a word in English. It's not like yesterday. It's the day before yesterday. I don't know if it has a word to describe. Oh, I know the day before yesterday. That's easy. Ante de ayer. Antiel. <laughs> The perspective of time in Spanish is totally different than it is in Gringolandia. I have never heard of that word in my life. I feel like all of my insecurities about Spanish are coming up right now. That's, uh, that you haven't slept yet. This velado, like you, you stayed up the whole time. It's like hangover, but without drink. Just, just not, just not translate for that one either. When you stayed up late last night, pues estás un poquito desvelado. But desvelado, I think it's like particular to being up all night. Like tired could be like during the day for whatever reasons, but desvelado is like, yeah, I don't think there's a word for it. Man, Spanish is hard. You know, a lot of, you know, I'm not gonna say a lot of women because it's like, oh my God, sexism. But it's true. A lot of women son friolenta. Muchas mujeres son friolenta. You know, but, whoa. You know, most of the girls I dated, this is for that. Siempre me decía, ay, yo soy friolenta. Tengo frío, ven, caliéntame. Y dije, está bien, mami, yo te caliento. No, no existe. Es que no existe. How do you say, like, in English, when it's like, oh, warm-blooded? Is that when people's like, would that be a translation? Or cold-blooded? It has no translation. It's just, you're just cold or sensitive to cold. Friolenta is somewhat that it's always it's always cold. Even if we're in summer, it's always cold. I, I can't put that into like one English word. There's nothing equivalent to that. It's just not. Que, que, que ponte un suéter, carajo. Like stuffed. To me, it's like a feeling when something's like too like sweet. You know, you ever got like a stack of pancakes, you're like, hell yeah, I want all these pancakes. And you eat two, and you're like, I can't eat the third one. That's empalagarse. It is for food too, but it's, it, for me it's more like when you're too sweet, when you do too much for another person, and the other person is like, dude, you're muy empalagoso. That's like two completely different things that I have in my head. So one of them is too sweet to the point where you're kind of annoying because of how sweet you are. And one of them is, I am sick of all of the sugar that's coming into my body. In my interpretation, it means on top of the table. Sobre mesa? Ponlo sobre la mesa. I don't even know. Something that you put on the, over the table? Tablecloth. Like, the literal tr translation would be like, No existe. No, es imposible. I would say my mean like. I've like never used it. Sobre mesa? To have the conversation over, over dinner? Oh, sobre la mesa, sobre mesa. I never heard of that shit before. That's interesting. Dominicans don't use that word. They feel like the Spanish language has so many different varieties of words, of phrases, so there's not just one form of speaking Spanish. And so I, that's why I think like it's very difficult sometimes to translate something into English because which words should you translate? Which words are you meaning? Sometimes there are words that exist in Spanish that are just so perfect for like what they mean. In Spanish, you can have one word to describe a specific thing. Like, we are so dedicated to like describe everything as much as we can that we're very precise with the words we use. Even just like, I love you. Like, I can say I love you in so many different ways in Spanish, but I can only say it in one way in English. <laughs>